Hi and welcome back to this little fun airborne let's play. For this mission I'm going with a default loadout of at first. Still, as I said before, uh, the magazine is already too short for me to sustain fire. Plus, the recoil makes it harder to shoot the long range. Open if I have to go down there and meet a uh, rocket in my face. As you can see, um, most enemies know are no threat to us. We can easily flank them all around here or surprise them by getting there faster than we can turn around. That's it for the roof. We're going down into the uh, loading bay for the guns and their emplacements. I'm using uh, the gaming grenade, you'll see I will be able to take them out more later, clear, clear out the objectives and most of the enemies around them. Gaming grenades you can see pretty powerful, we have shotgun action here too. And they can really clear up the way uh, for your dance. Here I'm streaming back to the SDG. Uh, the flag tower is where actual real construction must be built it, uh, in Berlin, building in uh, Hamburg. They were designed for the aircraft aircraft fire, but also serve as uh, shelter of civilians during the bombing raids. They remain most of his days, and their construction is very sturdy and solid, so they haven't been destroyed most of the time. Those are stomp commanders again. We'll see more of them as we go down into the depth of the flag tower. Hey, I'm first going to stay outside, we'll come back here later inside to clear out the area. Here I can finally grab some more explosives. And ammo. We now have to destroy those uh, small quad cannons of uh, flag cannons we can see around the edges. All of this time I'll, we keep, I'll keep uh, my game of the name reserve, you'll see why. I just really can guess, but. I don't have much to say this time. Um, this is obviously uh, an infectional uh, battle since uh, I've adopted um, airborne units who have attacked the flag towers straight on. Flag towers are mostly ignored or uh, circled around by a bomb crews. Uh, the, one of the last resistance in Berlin was actually around a flag tower near the zoo of Berlin where uh, the defender lasted quite a while before the Soviet forces managed to get them to surrender. Uh, on this side we can't be really being flanked uh, because the only enemy is forwards. 
So we have to dance cautiously using grenades to clear a new position. And watch until the Spanish track, of course. As you can see I'm pretty low on health, so I'm being a bit cautious here. A lucky shot with uh, a lucky headshot. Thankfully, there is always health around those uh, black guns. And as usual, uh, Travis has a low uh, composition of day ready to blow up anything on its way. As you can see, you can see the Nazi stormly just getting out of here, so I expect to continue to flank him. And uh, this brave uh, ally, Pro Trooper, is stabbing him at the same time as shooting him. Nazi stormly is quite impressive, as I mentioned before. I'm so dangerous, especially if they are quite slow, and the turn radio it can strap around you, so they have to turn slowly. Which you when they can then stun lock them by firing burst at them. Recommendation for grenades. Because carrying ten grenades of each type is not enough for Travis. He has to carry like fifteen of them. He's a walking ammunition to go. Getting back a bit, looking for some health packs and a blind out this flag. Again, there are about four guns to blow up on this side. Nice work, drivers. Two more. Another um, Nazi stalemate is coming our way, I think. There he goes. And actually, two of them. Yeah, we'll be facing more and more of those guys as we go down. You get used to me trying to get my grenades all the time now. We all lifesaver. Down and a quick burst from the MG42 can really, as I mentioned before, be in the end of the day. So this time I'm using a quick trick as I'm staying in cover, waiting for the enemy to get closer, and quick shooting him as soon as he gets in my sights. Get ready to fire, covers! Also, this is taking the same place than the Berks and Varsity, the last mission. So, on the background, you might spot some of the buildings of the last mission. I'll try to get a close enough to some bonus episodes, maybe. I haven't shown much of a shotgun here. Previous recording, I used a lot more of the um, shotgun. This time we are down. I'm taking some explosive ammo again on this uh, as I explore the area. Trying to get all my way back to the entrance to the uh, next floor. More health here, not needed. All the way back. Back to the action. This is a large circular area with Nazi soldiers uh, all around you on the upper floor and uh, a nail to some soldier coming down from the stairs in the middle of the center. Here we go. Again, Yemen grenades are here to take care of the dominance. The quick shot burst finishes the job. You always have enough game grenades to deal with the uh, stomp soldiers. Making them a non issue. Except if you get it crossed in the line of sight and get surprised by it. Then you are in a world of hurt. And down we go. There, I know there's another one. You can see him firing on me. I'm not sure I hit him, so I prefer another grenade. We've dealt with him pretty effectively. I 
I guess it would have been a quick jump back down to this before waiting for it to rise up and go down again. I think a bit of time. There has to be a bit of confusion here. Um, we'll have some more like three floors. We're on the fourth floor here. And there are three floors in the river, third, the third and second floor, which will go through the fourth and second first. At the end of the mission, we'll go through the third floor. It can be a bit confusing. Thankfully, I just strapped the room at the right time here. to show a bit of a charging since I haven't really done it in this mission. But the uh, STG-44 is more of a um, gun you can use for any threat. Some kind of buggy enemy here. I don't know what happened. This can be a bit dangerous since you, only your head comes into view so the enemy will make headshots on you. Really depleting your health. So I'm thinking about my next move, and I go crouch to try to find the enemy. Yeah, he went through the window somehow. Here is a secret, you can go down this ladder here, and I will come back for it later. actually go through it and uh, this is actually now the third floor which is available on the late part of the mission access to another kind of various we go next so first I'm going down here that third floor and now I'll take the stairs down again just gonna hear a storm stories close by and now we're on the fourth one as I said a bit confusing we want to figure it out you uh, Basically, the objectives are the same on the fourth floor. We have to clear out some control room, destroying the, uh, the panel here. Here, I get surprised by a stone soldier, but it seems he is too slow on, on the trigger. I can quickly dispatch him with a full clip. Why not just see me so to kill someone with a shotgun? Now we have to go down again and toward the uh, entrance of the, of the complex. Another set of elevators to go through. I had forgotten about this room, where there is at least one stone soldier. Again, the trigger can kind of buggy here. There we go. the compass raid thing. Now you'll notice that this guy really started me. He nearly got me. Same trick as again. I'm waiting for him to come into into sight so I can fire on him first. He can't turn around easily. Down he goes. Trying to find my way down there. I'm looking for the elevator that goes down, not up. There we go. And now we are to the uh, entrance level. Supporting snipers have been First. sighted on the ground floor outside floor. the tower. Instructions are to destroy the tank to secure the entrance. Here we have to take out some armors, actually half tracks, which are somehow immune from the front from uh, Panzer Shrek, I believe. At least that's why I remember it from uh, the Spray Proof. There's two more. <laughs> 
that's one half truck gun down. There's a third one next later. Outside. The streets outside is where you will land if you uh, land it uh, on the other safe position. Well, most of this it will take fire, as someone mentioned, the threat from snipers if you go down. Here I've noticed that the MG position is a bit uh, hard to take probably. And there you can see the scale holding that where the enemy sniper is positioned. You can seem to get a decent shot on so I decided to flank him instead. I'm trying to go as you may have understood by now to go through the game without a single on screen death. I have a clean run for each time. Let's see if I achieve that. I'm not sure of a burst into a nice explosive to clear up this guy. And there we go, behind the enemy. Come on, Travis, we gotta get to the Now you'll see me do a bit of backtracking, clear some snipers. I decided to go for the ladders and scaffolding instead of showing you the same uh, area again. The main control room is now accessible. Advance the application and gate the enemy. Taking sniper fire, but quickly ah! dispatch. This is actually the wrong way, but I was checking it out. Anyway, hurting myself from climbing a ladder. Yeah, it's a long way up, isn't it? You can you may be able to spot in the background there the uh, last mission. And now we are we are on actually the full floor and going to take a third. Now we have access to it. And I'm going through this little secret uh, trapdoor thing. This is, uh, it gives you access to uh, a G43, Panzer Shrex, and explosive and ammo, plus health. So a nice, nice spot to get there. And actually this uh, room can be extremely hard down there to, uh, with enemies constantly respawning, the energy position firing on you from the, um, from the all windows. Here they are actually closed, I believe. Maybe having a bug. In my day, easier in any way. Except for this guy, you can't, I can't see who's foot charging at me. Yeah, Panzer Shreks can be really uh, trickier since you may be spotting them too late to fire on you and hit you with a one hit kill. I don't find a lot of enemies, usually you have two stomp soldiers here, outside, right outside, but not this time. Switching to the Panzer Shrek to show it a bit and firing on those uh, Nazis right at the entrance. As you can see, I can't see the guy really, I decided to fire a rocket at him. Bottom to mouth for good. I should have got a fired up by now. Uh, switching back to the G43, I'm to, I wanted to show a little bit the uh, grenade launcher. As someone asked in the thread. So you'll see me use it in a bit. Not full on go. In here, now only a stone soldier show up. Just have it off ammo to dispatch it in my, in my magazine. Always keep a, a full magazine in those missions to make sure you take care of uh, stone soldiers, soldiers before uh, I can get you. If you have to reload in front of one, it sure ain't gonna be easy. I know there's one of the tricky part here, there's one at the end of a room and there's no uh, clear cover right off the bat. I'll make a quick dash for it and uh, lucky enough he doesn't spot me and shoot me. But now he has. And a grenade falls over so I had think I risk it and nearly blow myself up in the process. But, uh, took light damage only so that's pretty, uh, that was pretty lucky. I really gamma grenades a lot, dude. Travis, here's the ladder! 
I'm at full health, and I uh, didn't expect that at this moment of the game, but I managed a pretty fine run here. There's another somebody right there. Same, he doesn't react to me shooting at him, so I decided to showcase the grenade launcher. Find a few grenades at him. Grenades won't do him much. Only game grenades are effective against Tom soldiers, but they can uh, hurt him a bit, and the headshot finally drops him. Here I miss a guy behind me. Luckily, he misses too. All units, be advised an allied demolition team is located yeah, but and down he goes. Assemble in the basement of the structure and assist in any way possible. Now we got down, down again. We're going through the janitor room, I think. And uh, into the depth. And then some kind of Nazi lair, maybe. Actually, it's uh, sewers. Believe it or not, with a red tint to them, because they are evil, and we have to destroy it. I need more cop B. Travers, just like old times, huh? Ready, sir. Double check the wires, then triple check them. Yes, sir. Through that sewer is our exit route. As soon as Private Worth is done checking the wires, we're meeting up with the demo unit who's ready to blow this thing. And now prepare for a mad dash for the exit. Thankfully, the game has prepared us with a kind of pointer here. We just have to follow the cable and link with the, with the detonator. All the way back to the exit. Nice way for you done to get lost. And here you'll spot quite a few gammon grenades uh, stacked. So, yes, you guessed it. We will meet a load, and I mean load. Of elite storm soldiers here, so I have thankfully a lot of gaming grenades to deal with. And here we can meet two at the same time, probably a six of them in total, maybe more. So this area can be really hard, but since you have gaming grenades of plenty, shoot them accurately. Him spamming actually with them, but they can be made uh, quick work of all those bad guys. And uh, here I forgot to check. I'm, uh, I'm actually here later. Forget to check my compass for warning of any presence. This one might close. As you can see, I can circle strap around him and he can't do much. This one slotted me, of course. And I got lucky there. So that changed my mindset a bit. I had to be very careful. With only one health bar left. Here, someone's shooting at me. I don't know where from. I spot some health packs here. So I go make a dash for them. More ammo. And there is one enemy at the back, too. We are down. We are home free, except for this guy shooting at me, but I ignore him. So, um, thank you for watching and going through this reported video of this Let's Play. And uh, I'll thank you like to thanks everyone in the thread uh, for posting and commenting on the videos. And I also learned quite a lot of things about the editing during this Let's Play, so I'll be able to learn from that from the next experience. So that's, and as you can see, it looks like uh, Trevor is the only survivor, as his man is calling desperately for uh, the data animator. It's time to destroy this evil fortress once and for all. That's all very annoying. Anyway. No way, ah, I'm survivors inside. Enjoy the explosion. Colonel Scott Webb, After Action Report, March 27th, 1945. The war is over. Once a mighty force, the 
German army is now crumbling around us. I believe it is because of the tenacity, the skill, and the guts of the airborne that America has triumphed. The dedication and supreme sacrifice exhibited by these soldiers makes me proud and honored to be a member of the airborne. planes during the catch scenes, uh, the fighter planes were actually P-40s instead of uh, later models. Probably a bit too lazy for to do them later. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, MMTD, sound off.